Uh, my name is Joshua Ross. My name is Andy England. Rosanna Garcia. Josh Hogue. No, Vince Stock. Trayla Nelopati, and I am a senior at DU. I'm a partner at a marketing agency I founded about a year and a half ago. Recent graduate from University of Denver. I am the uh, Director of Entrepreneurship Programs. The Walter Cook Endowed Chair of Entrepreneurship. Adjunct faculty member uh, at uh, the Daniels College of Business at the University of Denver. It's not as much about building or growing a skill as it is kind of a way of thinking. Um, and I think that's the most value it provides, um, as well as the community. I mean, there's really few places where you're able to get such an eclectic group of people, you know, um, philosophy majors, finance majors, engineers. We have the arts program, and there's a lot of entrepreneurs there, the music program. And so it was just a, a, a community, I could say, that was um, very ripe and open for exploring entrepreneurship. And that's what I found exciting. You know, the more time I spent with other people that were like-minded and motivated, the more motivated uh, I felt I was and I became. We have 30 uh, one-day grinds, 30 one-day credit classes that the students can take. And the grinds are very unique. And I haven't seen any programs quite like the grind. One day, eight hours. We, we basically, as a class, come up with a thousand ideas in a day. Everything ranging from uh, creating your digital presence to intellectual property. In the classroom, we were actively building up our LinkedIn, you know, building up our own websites. As you're building your company, you do realize I don't know this area, or I don't know that area, and I want to learn more, but I don't want a whole class. I just need to jump in, get what I need, and, and then go off and do. And that's what the grinds allow students to do. I mean, when you go through my WordPress class, you walk out, you you can create, you can build a WordPress website. And if you're starting a business, you need to know how to build a website. You need to know how to do certain things to save you money. You know, college is expensive. You know, any way you slice it, college is an expensive experience. And I think students are more and more choosing vocational subjects that will help them, you know, earn money in the future, um, because that's increasingly important if you're living with student debt or, you know, frankly, to be successful in society. And in that context, it's fascinating to me to see that some of the things that the students are already doing. I was actually able to, you know, take the businesses that I was working on and work on them in a class. Um, and actually get credit for the work that I was doing, uh, which was really important to me because it was applicable. It was something that I actually cared about learning and it was something that actually pushed me to do better than I was before. I think that my favorite takeaway from the program is really hard to describe one. It's just the fact that, you know, the way the program treats you isn't like you're a kid running a lemonade stand. They really treat your startup like you know it's on the ground and running. I'm a big believer though that you really can't teach entrepreneurship unless you're actually doing it. You have an idea, great, that doesn't matter. Everybody has an idea. And the Madden Challenge forces you, regardless of whether it's a good idea or a bad idea, to actually execute on something, which is the most important part. I was a judge for the Madden Challenge this past year. But I really was taken aback and so like wonderfully surprised by the fact that it focused on the fourth industrial revolution. And that's something that a lot of startups are starting to get used to an idea of. But when I saw the students become so like, you know, well-versed in what AI, robotics, and all of these very new, but also very powerful technologies, I really felt like DU was ahead of the curve in terms of like in the same lens of like what they do in Silicon Valley. So. Business has been revolutionized by young, smart people coming in and doing things differently. You know, it's remarkable to me how young companies like Google and Facebook and Netflix are. I mean, these companies didn't exist 25 years ago. By choosing to study business, you know, you've chosen what is, I think, a really um, fun and hopefully rewarding subject, right? So it's something that isn't just about uh, a practical decision. It's um, it's where competition goes after sport. If you've been an amateur, if you're not going to be a professional athlete, the next best place to find competition is in business. You know, find a hard problem to solve. Uh, make it difficult on yourself because the more difficult you make it, the more you're going to learn and the more you're going to benefit. Take every opportunity in front of you. Um, I think this, you know, going into college, 
that's when you have the most free time, the most leeway, and it is the most important time to figure out what you really want to be doing. And as you learn the pieces of the company, that's what you can take to an employer. You now have this really broad um, knowledge base that somebody who say is in accounting, they only know accounting, but you as a, as a company owner would have had to have done some accounting. You just have to have that you know, drive and that you know, dedication and a really good support system. And I think you can find that here.